Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. So what we have up for you today it really is something the simplest, simplest, simplest of um, recipes for pumpkin cake. And um, simply it is, um, your trick is using a cake mix. So Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, any of those, yellow cake, and all you're going to do is you're going to take the mix, put it in a bowl, like so. You're going to add to that then a can of pumpkin, which I have here. And we're going to mix this first, and then we're going to add some water. And I know some people will say, oh, that's that's her New Jersey accent coming out. Some of the northerners in the states say New Jersey or water. Um, so I'm going to just mix this first this way, just kind of to get it going. Just wanted to switch it around a little bit. And then let's get our little handy dandy mixer out. Mix it nicely. And so it's going to be a little bit of a thick consistency. And so that's why we're going to add a little water to it as we go. Okay. So I wanted to get the pumpkin nice and mixed this way. Once we get that nice and mixed, let's stop it right here. Turn it down. Going to mix it just to make sure everything is mixed nicely and it's going to be a little thick um, some people actually use this recipe just like this without adding any water to it um, if you want to have like some thick cookies or something like that you could do it i'm making a cake we need more liquid so we're going to add our liquid to it like so I'm going to just, oops, like that. It's a little messy, a little messy, and I forgot my little dish, but that's okay. So let's mix with the water. And again, we're just trying to thin out the consistency of it because that's what will make it more cake-like we do that. Okay, let's add a little more water. And it's looking good it's looking good what i did was i started out um, with a cup of water and so to use just about all of it again because what we want to do is we want this to have more of the cake batter mixture to it now to this and it's totally up to you if you want, you can certainly add walnuts. You can add chocolate chips. You can add any of those things um, to it. So I'm going to just mix this a little bit more. Again, it's got this nice consistency, but it's still a little thick. So we're going to go in and put in the rest of the water. Again, that was one cup. Of course, I will put that in the comment section for you and that's pretty much the amount of water that the cake mix calls for because we're actually not adding an egg we're not adding oil uh, all the other ingredients you need for a cake pretty much are in that mix okay so one of the things that i've actually done let me actually just finish this so you can hear me. Okay, so one cup will do the trick. And you're, I'm going to pour this so you're going to be able to see the consistency. So one of the things that I've already done, uh, let me, I am my father's child and he would be just too through to know that there's stuff all over the counter <laughs> okay um what i've done is i've actually already coated my cake pan my bunt cake pan with the baker's joy and this is kind of my rule of thumb 
whenever I'm making a cake that has more of the flour yellow mixed to it, I coat my pans with this. But when I'm making my chocolate cakes and things of that nature, um, for whatever reason, they just seem to do better um, just using the Pam Sprite. So for whatever reason, that's, that's what I have discovered. So I'm going to just go with that. And now that I know this is mixed nicely, the consistency is what I want. We're going to just take this and pour it. So certainly if I just left this without the water, you would not have been able to pour it. It would have been clumpy. And um, like I said, you can decide if you want to add walnuts to it. I think actually what I may do right before I put it in the oven, I'm going to just go on and put a few chocolate chips on top, okay? So I'll just put that on top. Uh, so when it comes back and if you see the chocolate chips, you'll say, what happened? How did she get the chips? <clears throat> but I'll add the chips to it, okay? And then we'll put it, um, put it in the oven. So you can, you can add it at any time. On the top of the mixture, it's going to sink down anyway. Okay, so we've got our cake. Um, I'm going to just sprinkle some chocolate chips on top and then we're going to put it in the oven i'm going to check on it about 30 minutes and then again probably um well i'll figure it out from there it may be another five minutes okay so i'm going to get my chocolate chips put it on top then it's going to the oven we'll be back all right so it's been now about an hour since uh we last connected um i did leave my cake in for 35 minutes i checked it at 30 minutes just as i said i would and <clears throat> i could tell that it needed to stay in just a little longer so five more minutes now one of the things that i did i told you that i was going to actually put some chocolate chips um uh on top of the cake before I put it in. So I want to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to, I'm going to recommend, this is how you make it your own. So what I did, I literally put the chocolate chips and then I decided last minute to put some chopped walnuts on top. And as you can say, it looks fantastic. Now, what you can do is instead of putting it on top, although this looks great and we're going to have to do a two step flip to keep this top. I put it in a bun pan, just thinking I'd flip it on the bun side, but since it came out so beautiful, I want this to be the top. But here's a variation. You could take um, chocolate chips if you want. Um, I like using the Ghirardelli 60% cocoa, and uh, that allows you to have more of that dark chocolate, the richness, and not not all the extra sugar um, so that's my suggestion you can get it in the baking section so you can mix it as i did and you could put the chocolate chips and the walnuts right in the mix so this way both of those are in the inside of the cake so you can do that or you can do what i just did which is put it on the top before you put it in the oven so let's go on um, and again 35 minutes in the oven let it cool pretty much completely i'm going to say like 30 minutes so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to flip it now just heard it pop down like so and again it's it's still beautiful it's a beautiful bun cake um and if you put it if you stir the chips and the walnuts in it then it's going to be throughout and in fact, you'll probably see some on the top because it'll go down. But because mine didn't come out that way, I planned it last minute. We're going to do another flip. Okay. So you're just doing a double flip. And voila. Look at this beautiful cake, pumpkin cake, um, with dark chocolate and walnuts. So of course we have to try it uh, again. I know that this comes out tasting really, really nice. Again, you know, your decision about whether or not 
when you want to put the, the chips and the walnuts in, or even if you want to do it at all. So I'm going to just lay a piece here. Looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have a piece. It's nice and moist. Mmm. Very nice, very nice. I can see how this would be great with it all throughout, but because I had enough of it, I mean, it's I probably can get some with everybody. All right, one more, please. Mmm. Nice. So here you have it. Pumpkin cake. Three ingredients. Well, not including the toppings. <laughs> But you had the cake mix, can of pumpkin, one small can, uh, one cup of water, and the nuts on the top. I hope you enjoy it as much as I am enjoying it. And I will continue to enjoy once we finish taping. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, just click on the little circle with my picture. I come out with a video um, every other week, something that's simple. This was really simple delicious and a healthier twist and um, if you like this please 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 share it on your social media sites thanks again bye